with prices holding at 26 to 27 cent. Will it break through that threshold or will we continue to the upside? Stay tuned. What's up, everybody? It's Cashflow Nexus, your favorite channel. back again, give you the latest and greatest updates on XRP and crypto. And today, yeah, we're going to analyze XRP a little deeper and go into what's going on with this market. Are we going to continue to the upside or are we going to uh, just collapse right now at this point that we're at? So that being said, before we get into any technical analysis or anything, uh, I, I'm going to give my the word that God gave me to speak. And then I'm going to do my subscriber shout out and then we'll jump into the technical analysis. So that being said, uh, if you are new to this channel and you like what you're seeing here and feel compelled to sub, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell for notifications for future content. And also, we're going to jump right into this word. So God's told me do not move until he says to move. So yes, uh, this the season that we're in. God's equipping certain individuals that he's chosen to be a representation of his kingdom as an ambassador of God's kingdom. He needs us to, okay, okay. So I, I have it written down here that, cause I need to have this cause it's, it's important. So the first thing is he says, my grace is sufficient for the, he's, for, because what we're about to go through in these seasons and what's to come is going to not only be changing in th this physical realm, but also in the spiritual realm, spiritual realm as well. A lot of things are going to change and a lot of people are not going to understand what's going on unless they have the discernment spiritually to understand the truth of what's going on. Because there's a spiritual war that's going on that a lot of people are oblivious to and have no idea what's going on. But when you read the word of God and you see what's lining up with the today's world, if you ask God to show you, he will show you. And I need to tell you guys this because it's true. Uh, the things that he needs us to have during this season is his fruit, the fruit of the spirit. Uh, if you're not familiar with that, I'll leave the, I'll leave the, the scripture on that. Uh, in the uh, in the description box so you can understand what I'm saying but there's two that he really wants to three that he really wants us to focus on is patience temperance and love but in this order love patience and temperance uh, love as you know everybody's saying you know love is the biggest thing that we as people fall on you know fall for you know fall for we don't really have the understanding of love we just say love whatever you want do whatever you want but that's not true when you are under when you have an understanding of god's word you can't just live how you want to live you have to have a certain standard you can't live how you used to live so uh with that he wants us to build our temperance which is restraint or self-control and our patience for people that we come against or people that come against us so we could be representation of his kingdom because i know myself i can be hot-headed at times and he's worked on that and if you have known me in the past you would know who i was before so uh i was the type of person that would uh punch someone <laughs> in the, in broad daylight and there could be cops in, in the vicinity and even if they were watching i would still do it because that's just who i was but I'm not saying I did all that, but that's who I was. And he showed me in my heart, that's who I used to be. And that I could have became those things that I seen in myself. So once again, uh, he's building our patience up. He's building our love up and our temperance. So pray for these things and don't move until God says to move. Because think about a time where you made a decision that you regretted because you didn't obey or you didn't wait on God to give you an answer for that that situation. 
when you know he was building your patience or you didn't know he was building your patience, but you figured out too late that that thing that has happened already uh, took place. So I do want to say that because I think this is going to help a lot of people in their walk. And if you are struggling with your walk in Christ or you need direction or prayer, I will definitely pray for you. If you want to leave your uh, a comment and say, pray for me in the comment section and just leave a request, I'll do that. But understand the message. Do not move until God says to move. Okay, going on there. Subscriber shout out goes to Trina Hudson. Thank you for subscribing. Uh, I really enjoyed what you said in your in the comment that you left behind because that is true. Uh, faith is the key and prayer is the key. Both of them are the keys to moving and moving forth in life and moving in faith. It's going to be the difference between some people that already walk in life and some people that don't understand seeking and searching for God. So that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, part of the video. Now on to the technical analysis. All right, stay tuned for that. All right, everybody, we are now looking at XRP versus the dollar. And we are looking at it first from the weekly time frame. I'm going to do top down analysis real quick, give you a little bit of insight of what's going on and what I think is going to do because right now we are in a critical zone for XRP. It's very critical. We are still underneath this cloud, so we're still very bearish until we break above 50 cents. Until we break above this area, we are bullish and we are above the cloud. So right now we are under the cloud. So this is, let's say this is earth right now. We're trying to get to the other side. We're trying to make it to the heaven where the clouds will be above the clouds and where this is heaven zone. Look how open that is. So what I'm not seeing here on the weekly time frame, we're not getting that Kumo twist. So we're still bearish right now. What I also am kind of weary about and worried about a little bit is this area in here. Even though we have a bullish TK cross, we could still, excuse me, we could still get this cross back down real quick to the downside because this area that we're currently holding is a tough area to, uh, it's tough support right now. But that doesn't mean that it cannot be broken. What I am worried about is this candlestick formation right here. All right. We have an inverted hammer that has made a that has hit resistance up here this is a signal for a reversal on the weekly time frame and also we have a bearish candle fo following too following it so if this candle closes as a bearish candle do not expect prices to move too much higher expect prices to start making its way lower possibly to these levels here which would be 18 17 15 14 so prepare for battle at this daily time frame right here that i'm about to show you because i do have this that we could potentially move up again and also if you look at this zone here if you look at this area in this zone here this blue zone this is a spinning top pattern showing that there is that in this market that we could potentially move up higher because it is a reversal candle. So I let me move it like this. So we could start making our way to the upside. However, when I look at this, we have some bearish divergence showing right here. Yep, it's a little bearish divergence, this slight bearish divergence, which means we made lower highs on the uh, oscillator while price made higher highs. So we could very well break at this point and drop to the downside, taking us to these levels in here, which will mean we could get some more XRP before it actually does moon and 
utility does kick in and all that. So we have these areas that I spoke of on the weekly time frame that could we could potentially go to. But here's the thing. Looking at it on the four hour time frame, we are holding strong. We're already showing reversal candles to the upside. So we can expect some type of pullback to the upside. Is there any divergence? No. Trend is going down on the four hour time frame with the RCI. We see the green line represents the trend here and you see trend has been coming down. As you can see, trend has been falling down and matches perfectly. But now, let's take it one step further. What's going on on the one hour time frame? Market is about to get an equilibrium right here. So we are about to get our move in this zone here. So I'm going to mark this zone. This is a TK zone, which is, means our blue line and our red line are going to cross and make a move, which is Tinkinson and Kijinson. Kijinson is our blue line, our base, and Tinkinson is our conversion line, all right? So when we get a cross to the upside, if we get that cross to the upside, I'm expecting prices to start making its way up, holding at this level. Despite, let's see, do we have any? Let me see if we have any divergence at all. So we have, we do have some bullish divergence right here. So expect prices to start making its way up. We have price right here coming down while the oscillator is coming up, which is at resistance. So this is a good area for buying positions. Say we get our TK cross. If we fail to get our TK cross, expect prices to move on down. This is a very critical zone. I'm not saying this to be, you know, I'm not going to be fake with you guys. This is real deal stuff. This is where we're going to see our move right in here now. We're either going to break to the downside or move up. Looking at the 15. We're already starting to make our way above the cloud, but we could still very easily come back down and touch. If we get one, two, and a third touch and we hold, expect prices to move up. But right now, it's just a waiting game to see what happens. Going back to the daily time frame, this is my goal in my target that I'm seeking. Getting back into the 37 and the 40 cent range is where we should go next if we are to hold here. Because we've basically proven that this is a strong area and it looks like we're good above the cloud. We got a good, nice little trend right here. Not saying that we can't break lower, but if we do, if we don't break lower, expect a higher price of these levels here. So this area is very crucial right now. This blue zone is very crucial. And that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this technical analysis. I'm just being 100% real and authentic with you guys. I'm bullish. But the only thing, the two things that I'm worried about is this right here, this bearish divergence on the daily versus this bullish divergence on the one hour. That's my concern right now. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment and subscribe and let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. All right. Peace.